Hey, how's it going? Leo here. Listen, I, I want to share with you another side of the difference making effort that I talked about related to why I do weddings. So when it comes to why I do weddings, I told you that it's because I want to make a difference. I'm somebody who wants to make a difference and I want to make a difference with others who want to make a difference doing something that makes a difference at a time when it makes all the difference in the world. And weddings is just one aspect. All right, but let me tell you really why I love the make a difference effort with weddings. It's not because I get to do the ceremony. It's not because I get to sign the marriage license. It's not because I get to be a part of this beautiful moment or take some wonderful pictures with the happy couple. Those things are great. It's really because I get to do those things because of the difference I make through the system and the strategic experience I create for that couple. <laughs> yeah, it starts with, first of all, the fact that I said, you know what? This is something I've thought about. This is something I've wanted to do. And here's an open door and an open opportunity to do it. Okay, let's do it. Let's take action, all right? Outside of taking action, it's how do I want to present this to them? How do I want them to see this? What experience do I want to get them, give them, okay? So the profile is a part of it. Everything that's said is specific to something that they're going to experience. And my mindset is making a difference mindset, okay? And so because of that, I'm not going to have anything in that that's not make a difference oriented. <laughs> so, so what they see right? Even the reviews that people give on that profile is because of the experience, not only that they had getting in touch with me, but they had from beginning to end, from start to finish. And so with that, the reviews are something that I get to have an ongoing effort of producing additional content of make a difference mindset. <laughs> That's really what it is. But the, like the mechanics, the execution, the momentum that I create, the, 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 the measures that are produced from it, the money that comes from all of it, it plays into and even flows out of the mindset. Listen to me and listen to me well. Then when, when they reach out to me, when they message me, whether they message two or more, you know, me plus somebody else or others, or just message me only, which I'm starting to have that more often because I'm starting to become more preferred, all right? Th that's a whole nother conversation. But when they message me, they get a very intentional experience. They get a very intentional communication, and it's designed to lead them in a very intentional direction with a make a difference experience, you see? Then, then, when we get on our Zoom together or if we have a phone call, however we communicate and connect, it's to where there's a very thoughtful process of making sure that I value their time, my time is valued, and that their awareness is confident that I'm going to make a difference on this special day with them. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's the system I created. Let me share this with you before I go. One of my favorite quotes in the world is from Michael Gerber, who uh, wrote the E-Myth. And he said, systems enable ordinary people to achieve extraordinary results predictably. And then he goes on and says, without a system even, extraordinary people find it difficult to achieve ordinary results. So... Here's the reality. This is why I say, this is why I talk about the, the five layers of life, starting at the outer layer, money. Um, then under money is measures. Under measures is momentum. Under momentum is mechanics. And then at the core is the mindset. This is why I say that if your mindset is shot, you're going to lose. You're going to lose everything. You might win for a season, but it will not be able to be predictable and sustainable long term. So much and so that Gerber said, if you are a person who's extraordinary, but you don't have a systematic approach, you don't have a systematic mindset, you can't even achieve ordinary results. Now that don't sound good. <laughs> so 
what is it that I'm really doing? Is it, am I doing weddings? No, because here's the truth. It doesn't matter what I do. The same mindset, the same perspective I'm going to take and use to achieve. Right. It's just it's, it's the reason that I was able to be an electrician uh, assistant with my father and achieve uh, predictable, extraordinary, predictable results. I was able to be in retail and achieve extraordinary, predictable results. I was able to be in education, and achieve extraordinary, predictable results. I was able to go into transportation and achieve extraordinary, predictable results. Go into the mechanical HVACR industry, achieve extraordinary, predictable results. That's why. Even able to be in the nonprofit apartment industry, the, the, uh, the multifamily industry, and be able to achieve predictable, extraordinary results. And let me just tell you, it's possible for you and everybody else around you, for your organization, for your team, for your family, <laughs> for your relationship, to achieve extraordinary, predictable results. But it starts with the mindset. You hear me now?